Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome to A Dose of Reality. It's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's Wisdom Wednesday. I'm here to throw some wisdom your way. So as promised last week in my Indie Lotions Wisdom Wednesday, when I reviewed all the different categories of the lotions, I'm coming today to break it down category by category. First things first, some of you are probably watching this just to find out what color I painted my nails. Womp womp, didn't do it. But I did pick the winners. And yes, I said winners. I am going to do Badlands Bandit as my main color with an accent nail of Ninjalicious. So I thought these would go good together. So look for that on Friday's video. And since Monday will not be a Manny Monday video, it will be the MG update. I thought since those are kind of the closest things I got to a like teal color, they'd go good for the MG walk that's coming up on Sunday. So there we go. Today I'm just going to go over lotion itself because if I was going to try to go into everything, it just would be way too long. So I have five different brands of just specifically lotion. So last week I showed you Ambrojac lotion and said that this was a good, you know, just regular lotion. And I don't know why I do this because I feel like I'm going to throw it at the camera and that would really be no bueno. But um, yeah, so anyway, this is a good lotion and this is actually her yogurt body cream. So a good way, and I did talk to her today about this, so I wanted to get it right. Lotions can contain butters, obviously, because it's kind of like a rectangle is a square kind of thing. You know what I mean? All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. That kind of property when you're dealing with math. So butters are lotions. Lotions are, you know, contain butters, but not all lotions will contain butters, basically. So... This does not contain any type of actual butters that I can tell, I don't believe, because it has the yogurt. So what the distinctive thing is, water. Once it contains water, it is not a body butter anymore. So that's how you can tell. Um, and then obviously the thinner consistency as well will determine whether or not it is a whipped cream from there. So, Ambrojac, this is one of my favorite scents. This is Girls Gone Wild, smells like cherries, love it. Also love that when you put it on, it absorbs very quickly into your skin. She says on the site to wait like five to 10 minutes. I found it's closer to the five minutes for me, not the 10 minutes. So that's something that you maybe, you know, want to look into if you don't like to stand around and wait for your lotion to absorb. Um, does not leave you feeling greasy or anything like that. So I love that one um, a lot. The next one that I'm going to show you is Potion Dust. And this is the head to toe lotion. And this is in Gimme Candy. This is one of my all time favorite scents from her. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still one of her mainline scents, but this was one of her top selling ones for a while there. This also does not contain a butter that's exclusively to her body butter but this doesn't contain butters this is just the lotion and what i liked about this as well is it is a little bit thicker obviously it's in a tub so it is a little bit thicker than the squeeze lotion say from ambrojac but um there i go with um again it's not that thick that it can't be a lotion it's Thinner than a whipped cream, still considered a lotion. What I don't particularly love, now I put a lot on, it does take some time to absorb into your skin. So that's, to me, a little bit of a downside. Now, even with the amount that I had on my hand, transferred pretty quickly up to my arm, and it's pretty much done. I don't have to keep rubbing. So. It's not too bad. Just have to watch how much you put on because it is a little bit thicker than a regular lotion. So what you'd be normally putting on for a regular 
type of lotion with a pump bottle or a squeeze bottle, maybe half that with this type because of the consistency of it. So just think about that when you're using it. Next, I'm going to show you uh, Nature's Art. This is Drunken Heiress. I'm obsessed with this scent right now. Uh, this is the Body Potion Lotion. I got it right this time. And the scent is, you know, I have, has me obsessed. It absorbs very quickly. My skin does not get dry afterwards, so I don't have to reapply and reapply and reapply, which is really good. So I would recommend this to anyone who's looking to try an, a new indie brand, or if you haven't tried the lotions from Nature's Art, but you've tried other products, I would recommend it highly. And again, too, this doesn't contain butters. So there's that. The last two that I have do contain butters, which is why I had to ask Donna, where do I place these in my categories here? So the first of these two is from a company that I reviewed a long time ago. It's Hard Candy Scented from Foxy Little Phoenix. I don't know if you guys remember, I reviewed this a while ago. I'm still obsessed with the scent, uh, but it does have shea butter in it. It is a low content, so my body doesn't react to it, at least not regularly. I did have one time when I got like a little itchy. So I haven't been using it very much, but I do sniff it quite regularly, but I don't use it very often. So that's a downside for me, but that's just because of the allergy. It does hydrate your skin really well, and it does seem, you know, absorb really well. So, I don't remember, it's been a little while since I used it. I don't think that it left me as moisturized as some of the other brands that I mentioned previously. I think I did have to go back in and reapply something else later on because I got a little bit dry. So there's that, but it's definitely still a really good company, a really good brand. Like I said, just with my allergy, not the best. The last one I have is one that I've just gotten to try recently. Super excited, and I need to do a haul video for this company. Um, and it's Muna. Muna Lisa, for those of you who don't know, I got to try the lotion. It does have shea butter in it again. So I tried it once. I did not react, which was really promising. Uh, normally with Indies, you can ask them to make you a batch that doesn't have shea in it. Muna is not one of those companies. So you kind of have to weigh your options when you're ordering from companies. I'm obsessed with the scent of this. It's s'mores and hot chocolate. Um, it smells phenomenal, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't react. So far, it has absorbed wonderfully into my skin. My arm feels nice and hydrated, so I can't report back as to whether or not I'm going to need to reapply something to it later. So... I would say pretty much any of these companies are a good option for you if you're looking to try an indie brand for a lotion for your first, you know, indie brand lotion, or if you're just looking to branch out into, you know, a newer brand that's outside of your comfort zone, I would recommend any of these. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, never miss a dose of reality ever again. Also find me on Instagram and Twitter. I am Brie5 1687. I would love to interact with you in those ways. And like I said, I will be back on Friday to do another video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.